I tell you what, right now is not a bad time to be a Massey Ferguson fan. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, we got 32 mods in total for all platforms. We have 21 new and four updates. And for PC and Mac players, we have seven new and zero updates. If you guys want to stay up to date with all of the new and updated mods that are released on the end game mod up and see how many times I say update in the intro, make sure you're subscribed. That way, you don't miss any future mods here on the channel. And if you think I'm not starting with the Massey, you're at your mind. The Massey Ferguson 5700 Ilm 12 by 12 version from krkz mining i don't know how in the world he got this out so fast because i just talked about it in farm sim news this morning so unless he he's been sandbagging on the information uh this went through quickly likely he's sandbagging on the information that's all right this is 115 horsepower manual plus power shift transmission 125 liters of fuel 24 miles per hour weighs four tons it's gonna be 15 slots on console so it's not the lightest thing on earth speaking of light we can make it heavier <laughs> by adding a weight on the front that's gonna be a 300 kilogram weight Will Brands, we have Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental Midas, Freidstein, and Nokia and Tires. Basically, everything with the exception of BKT. Boo! Will Setups, you definitely have Will Setups for all those. And we've even got some very interesting narrow tires. Those weights look great as well. So just choose what you like and you're good to go. Fenders, we have Standard and Wide in the back. Front Loader, we have the Quickie, we have the Howard or Nothing. And then Engines, we have 115, 125, and 135 horsepower options. We do have all of the standard Massey Ferguson and designs that you're used to so main colors we have red black gray green white and communal for today we we'll stick with the red design color now this is going to be the different pieces in the hood you see right there a little bit's changing so you can change that whatever you like does start as red so just a heads up there uh, it blends in pretty nicely and then rim colors are rim colors you've got your standard you have a silver black beige white and communal so there you go. There's your Massey Fergus at 5700 Ilm. I love it. Next up, you've got the Utility Vehicle Auto Load Package. This right here has got the John Deere and the Mahindra Retriever. These are both going to hold 5,000 liters of your normal, um, boom, all your production crops. You do have some customization in here. Specs are the same as the base game features. However, uh, of course, you can add that three-point owner off if you would like at the back. Just like the base game piece, you can change colors unlike the base game so if you want to make it baby blue go for it design we can also change the uh seat on the inside pink so that is nice can't change up those uh um what do you <laughs> seat belts yeah there you go always wear a seat belt and of course you can change your rim color and it's nice to see that they've added david's uh copper on here as well as they do with every single mod but you can choose kind of whatever you like through there we've also got the mahindra this is very very similar as well um basically you've got standard or auto activated um, so yellow right there, that's going to be the auto load version. The interesting thing here is, oh, okay. See, so we've got also auto activated here as well. So you can choose that if you need it. As far as this one, main colors, of course, you've got all your state of colors. We'll just go with a nice pink on the outside and baby blue on the inside. How's about a big old tipper? We got you one right here. This is a chaff trailer, a forge trailer. As you can see down there at the bottom right hand corner, this is going to hold 24,000 liters, but it looks like it holds way more. You can actually make this a manure spreader if you want to as well. So that's pretty cool. Manure only, no lime. Weighs 10.7 tons alone. 160 horsepower required. However, you're going to need a whole lot more than that to pull this thing. It's got a 14 meter spread at nine miles per hour. And it's going to be 12 slots on consoles. As far as configurations, you guys saw that between a standard trailer and manure spreader. Wheels, we do have trailer board. We have Michelin tires, BKT and Vrindstein. And you can change those up if you want to. We also have different designs as well. These are going to be your working light designs and that's it how's about some square tongs well you got them right here the brussel and laid square bell tongs these are used to pick up bells that are flat on the ground or something like that you can also use these with round bells as well they don't have to be square but round bells are a little bit more difficult to manage with this attacher type front loader tail handler wheel loader so you've got all of the above and then you could change up that main color as well. We do have a custom black on there. That's cool to see. However, any color that you want can be used. It's going to be four slots on consoles. If you're like me and enjoy the brand Dimmler, well, we got a semi-trailer for you guys. This is a full bulk trailer, so it holds literally anything you want and 50,000 liters of it. It's also going to weigh 7.5 tons and it is going to be eight slots on consoles. Well, brands, we have Michelin, Trellebork, BKT, Vride, Stein Tires. You can change those up if you'd like. Design, we have without the glass top. 
in a glass plate. And I'm trying to figure out what in the world this is because I can't see anything unless it's just going past me. Oh, it's the plate in the front. There you go. So in the very, very front. And then capacities, we have extension or regular. So it goes between 40 and 50,000 liters. Heads up, that extension is going to cost you $15,000 extra. And it is put on there by default. If I back out, boom, it's on there by default. So you can go to that extension, take it down, and it'll drop the price significantly. As far as colors, well, you've got some dimmer colors. You've got the greens, reds, blacks, and you've even got the petrol blue. If you guys are using some Fenton tractors or something like that. And then if we go all the way down to the rim color, we've got silver and white. If you're in need of some auto loading for IT Runner, well, we got you covered. The first one is going to be the auto load platform for factory pack or factory factories. There you go. Uh, factory pallets, 34,000 liters total of capacity. It's going to be able to hold everything right there. Auto loads automatically for you as you would expect and we've got the same colors on here as well go with a nice pretty pink and then we've got another version right here for liquids only now this is going to be liquid fertilizer herbicide diesel water silage additive and back you can't just mix and match so a little unfortunate there 13,500 liter capacity there and i think it would be appropriate to go nice pretty baby blue from north modern company we have their lizard fuel tank this is used with a forward or something like that you grab a hold of the top and you can carry it to wherever you're going holds 970 liters of fuel we've also got a uh, rubber lifting beam on there as well if you want to make it a little bit easier for you we've also got Liver, uh, <laughs> liveries on here. So you got Lizard, Ponzi, John Deere, Komatsu, Ratna, and back to Lizard again. And then you can even throw some numbers on the end as well from, well, one and two or nothing. We also have every color under the rainbow, including the Ponzi colors, the Komatsu, and the Ratna blue, which is one of the most beautiful blues that we've got in the game. Thank you, thank you, thank you, North Modding Company for including those. If you guys are on console, this mod is going to be two slots. You guys remember the brand Bomac? Well, we've got a pack now of all of their pieces of equipment, and it's for all platforms, which is super cool. Uh, we've got a, uh, what was it, a drag hose, something like that. Actually, they're all drag hoses, aren't they? They sure are. So what's the difference? Well, the first one is going to be a 15 meters at 9 miles per hour. It's going to be 10 slots for you guys. You can also change that up to a... Uh, 21 meter working with which appears to do absolutely nothing uh, and back and forth between those then we've got a little bit of a larger version right here it's going to be 12 slots and it goes 24 or 30 meters and again it appears to be doing absolutely nothing that's also at nine miles per hour and then lastly we have the track pack 15 meter spread at nine miles per hour we could change that up to 18 and again visually doing absolutely nothing next up we got a plow this is the agrimass po5 poh5 115 horsepower is required for this 2.5 meter work with at seven miles per hour we've got universal boards and we've got slated boards and that's it it's gonna be six slots on consoles needing some weights maybe you want them to be lizards well they're the lizard weights pack this bad boy right here's got different ones we have a 600 and 800 and 1200 kilogram weights the 600 is gonna be two slots two slots two slots Two slots across the board. We'll take a look at customization, which is not a lot. We've got your main color right here, and you can change it to literally any color that you want. That base color right there, the lizard logo, does stay white, uh, but it is a different texture, it looks like. So it does still kind of show a little bit. You've got a little flag on the top. So there you go, the lizard weights pack. If you'd rather have a John Deere weight, though, well, you got one of those as well. 900 kilograms, and you can go with the uh, little flag glides on there or not. And you can choose between green, black, orange, and gray. We do have quite a few John Deeres that will change up that color. And you got it. So there you go. This is going to be two slots on consoles. Now, tools and equipment aren't the only things that we've got because we have a bunch of placeables. And I mean a lot of them. I think over half of the new mods for consoles are placeables. So starting off, we have the sim or semi pig sty self made pig styes. Bad boy right here will hold 80 pigs. It costs 50 grand and 48 bucks per day. Opening gates and a manure hatch. Uh, additional manure storage could be purchased separately so there you go that is the self-made pigsty this next one is super super cool this is the recycling center in this pack there's two recycling centers included one is empty without points of sale and you can use it to overload to other trailers containers things like that but the one that i'm showing you right now 
This is based off of that, but it's got places for selling. So you see we've got stones, wood, boards, furniture, wool, fabric, clothing, wood chips, food like flour, eggs, bread, salads, strawberries, tomatoes, cakes, etc. And then green waste like green or grass, branches, and things like that as well. This is epic, my man. It adds, it looks like seven different sell points on here, which is super cool. Um, and you do need to be careful because getting up here isn't gonna be the easiest thing in most pieces of equipment. So we can open it up, drive up, and then you just kind of dump over. My assumption is that you could also dump into it. Yeah, because the collision just kind of stops right there. Well, I can't jump up there. <laughs> We'll come back around then. I did notice that the collisions down here did stop. Uh, I think it was right here where I jumped down. Go to about there. And then there is a collision here, but it's not that big. So you should be able to dump to the side or over the top. This is a cool mod, man. We also have the Sugar Beet Cellar. This is going to cost you 55 grand as a capacity of 100 thousand liters and holy cow it has some triggers on there doesn't it let's turn on some help windows because i'm gonna need some help with this one so if we walk up it's not getting anything there we do have an opening door and i like how they've included the trigger so at least you know something's there we'll go ahead and shut the door we'll pull up right here switch on the light we could do that if you want to and then we've got a cover to install as well that's kind of cool if we come over here we can install the the chute did they just put that right there? It did, oh, that's kinda cool. And then if we come around here, it looks like we've got two, so show auxiliary markers or hide, so you can hide them, that's nice to do. And we come over here and install the conveyor belt, which is at the top. So one's gonna be for dumping, one's gonna be for getting. So make sure that you're installing the correct one there. That's pretty sweet. This is pretty cool. We got a workshop. Now this workshop looks to be based off of one of the Horman um, buildings, but it doesn't look like it is shown in any way as a Horman building. Can't go through the door, but don't worry because we've got a massive door right around the corner. Oh, it is Horman. Look at that. That's my bad. 100% my bad. We've got some doors right here. Can we walk through without getting bonked? We can. And we've also got the big garage door right here as well, making it super cute. So we come through here, work on your vehicles, work on things that you need to. Can we open that door? No, we cannot. Of course, we got the vehicle workshop, which is gonna be out here. This is neat. I like this. Can we open, or can we raise these? I don't think we can. Uh, we'll turn on our help window just to do a little bit of roundabout to see if we can, but I'm not getting a trigger anywhere. So. Looks like we can't. I was getting a trigger to pick these tires up though, but guess I can't either. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a pretty cool mod. It's definitely customized. If you guys are using the Horman uh, vehicles or uh, vehicle sheds rather, this, this might be something you want to put down. So the next one is not really a placeable. I mean, it is. We've got two placeables with this. We have a uh, sheep wool, which goes over there with the sheep, and then we've got one for chickens as well. Chickens right there. Doesn't look like we've got anything for bees. We do! Honey shipping, there you go. Uh, so it looks like those might be the only ones, as you can't really do anything with cows, horses, or pigs, but sheep, chickens, and bees do produce, well, things. Once you place those down, you place them in an overlapping of where the material goes. When it drops, it will actually go in here. Now we don't have any new material because it's just sitting on the ground, but what this allows you to do is those eggs or the honey or the wool, it allows you to automatically change what happens with them just right from the bat. You got selling, distributing, storing, things like that. It's pretty cool. We do have a couple cycles for day or if you do in single day, you got one cycle every 30 minutes, which is about as often as they put down stuff. So. You could do that. If you store it, these will store 5,000 liters in them as well. So for example, 5,000 liters of wool doesn't really go a long ways. However, 5,000 liters of eggs gonna take you a little while to get up to that point. So this is kind of cool, man. Definitely, definitely a neat mod for sure. Next up, you have the two bay shed. This is pretty basic as, uh, as it is, it's a very small shed. Looking too bad though, not looking too bad. If you guys are looking for maybe a little shed in the woods or something like that, 
Well, this may be exactly what you're looking for. And that's awesome. Um, I can't remember how much this costs. <laughs> it sheds at the very bottom. Costs you two grand. So that's not bad. We got another factory mod for you. This is the straw chopper. The mod includes straw chopper. And this chops and prepares the straw. So it could be used as chopped material. Construction is going to be 125 grand. Runs 1,200 cycles per month. And in a day, that's what, well, a lot. And it's going to cost you 10 bucks per cycle. So be aware of that. If we come over here... And we'll take a look exactly what we've got in and what we've got out. So we've got a thousand liters of straw in and out we get chaff. So if you're using straw but you need silage, well, this is one way to do it. I think we also have a mod that just turns straw into silage. So if that's what you're going for, well, you could do that as well if you want to. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Next one's cool, but you need both things placed down in order to use this because you can't sell the stuff otherwise. The Donuts Factory. Uh, what this is, is it allows you to take the base game bakery and use it as a donut factory. But you have to have this specific placeable down. Flour, sugar, and eggs together make you donuts. They do uh, lose a little bit of literage as well. Four liters of flour, three liters of sugar, and two liters of eggs. Now it does run 1800 cycles per month. It does cost uh, 60 bucks per month as well. So 60 bucks for 1,800 cycles. Not terrible. And then over here, we've got the sell point. Now, this is going to be the other bakery. So we've got both bakeries, the U.S. and the EU bakeries. One's a uh, factory, one's a sell point. So there you go. Two more to go. The first one is beehives. These are going to, of course, be found in b -b 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 bees and the two wooden beehives. Perfect for your farm. Two grand a piece and ten thousand dollars per day now i can't remember exactly how many bees it allows us to take but if we go into beehives we take a look click it here um well it doesn't say cool and your last one is the small brick house now i could have sworn that i've seen this mod before somewhere on mod hub but i can't put my finger on it so uh, it just kind of is what it is. You can sleep here, which is nice. Um, and that's about it. As I mentioned, we do have some mod updates for all platforms today that we need to go over. Four of them. The first one is going to be Umbrun Valley. This is a map. It's going to be changed dog version 1.002. Fixed few terrain problems. Fixed the farmlands. Corrected the fields to match the new farmlands. Fixed the cell icons and port cell points. Fixed a few floating trees. Added in a road on the island. Removed the floating props. And all new redesigned overview. Now, for all of these to take effect, for this big of a change, you're probably going to need to get a new game save. They didn't say anything about it, but I highly request it because half of this stuff isn't going to show up. Next up, we got an update to the Snippy and Multipla S9. This is going to be Change Dog 1.0.5. They fixed some bugs, added second and third chain configurations. They don't do anything. They're just visual. Uh, speaking of visual improvements, they've added some, and they've got the new model, the 200 base, for use in rows of orchard and vineyards. We also have the Milk Extension, updated to version 1.1. Fix the price. And one of my favorite mods, we've got the Buyable Products. This is going to be Change Dog 1.1. They've got new prices with improved and new products. They've got egg pallets. They've also got a grape pallet, honey box pallet, lettuce, strawberries, tomatoes, and milk. Making our way over to new mods. And first on the docket for PC and Mac players is going to be the Lizard D6N LGP. Now, this has been debranded from Cat and is Lizard in game. So, I don't know if it's going to be too long before we see this on consoles or uh, what has happened. Maybe there's something here that needs to be changed. Regardless, this is a bulldozer. So you've got the blade for the front, which push stuff around. And then you've got the ripper on the back, which works as a plow. As far as the piece of equipment itself, 182 horsepower, 390 liters of fuel with an 18 meter mile per hour max speed at 12.9 tons. Pretty heavy. We've got the plow, 140 horsepower required. Not that it matters. Four meters at nine miles per hour. And then we've got the blade on the front, which has a 4.3 meter working width. And here we got a great name for a mod. Trucks and trailer with pallet auto load. There you go. Uh, I thought maybe there would be more in this because it says there's trucks and trailers. But I don't see any trailers. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it says that as far as the mod goes, it includes two all-wheel drive trucks. Does it? Um, and uh, and they have pallet auto load. And also includes a trailer with support for pallet auto, pallet auto load. Does it? <laughs> 
something's happened along the way because half the time, actually, yeah, half the stuff's not showing up. Anyway, trailer board, Continental BKT tires. We've got a main color for your truck right there. And then you got room colors as well. 462 horsepower, variable transmission, 440 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour, and 10.1 tons. Uh, this does have pallet auto load for the back, which is phenomenal. That's great. Super cool. Barely an inconvenience. You can see from the logo, which is the first full on the top row, uh, second in from the left. There's only one thing. What am I doing wrong? This is a Neato mod, the Lizard XT2. Uh, this is a bell trailer featuring auto load and auto unloading to make your work a little bit easier. And you can use the auto loading if you'd like, but you don't have to, so it says. Uh, so we are right here, there it is. Click in Trailborg, BKT, Vridestein tires, can't change those up. And then we can throw the separator on there if you want to. We also have the Tim Winkle weight pack. Now this was the weight pack I believe that released in 19 as well for PC players. And it is back for Farms M22. And here we've got a handful of different weights. As you can see, we do have couplings that we can throw on the front if you would like to. And then we've also got main color as well. Gray, 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 and gray. They come in 900, 1250, 1450. And then we've got a standard set in 800, 1000, 600, 800, 900, and 1000. A little bit all over the place, but it is what it is, I guess. If you like me, you run into stuff. And for here, we have the safety bumper. This is pretty heavy, though. 2,400 kilograms. Goodness gracious for front low or front weight. Yay! Uh, we've got different colors here. We'll start with the main color. That's well, a lot of green. Uh, how about we just go with petrol blue? Oh. Okay, I see what it is. Just the little little bits right there in the corner. And then we've got the main color itself. Or was that design color? Main color? Aww. Uh, a little confusing. All right, well, I guess we're, we're right on track now. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, I confuse myself. See, this is why we need safety bumpers. Your next to last new mod for PC and Mac players today is the Building Snap. This allows construction brushes to snap to a placement and rotation grid. Grid can be adjusted between 0.5 meters, which is default to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and of course zero, which is off. Rotation could also be adjusted between one degree fives, and you've also got 11.25, 22.5, 45, 90, and of course zero, which is off. We already have a mod that does half of this, but hey, this does twice as much. And lastly, we've got the automatic turn signal stop. Now, supposedly this is a new mod, but also supposedly it's an update. I don't know which one it is. All I know is that it's version uh, 1.0.1.3 1. 1. changes to the structure of the script. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure this is his first time on Mod Hub. Well, guys, that is it. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. We've got Farm Sim News, which has already been released, and we've got some information on there that you guys need to know about. Uh, check it out. we got our last Precision Farming DLC blog that was released today and some other goodies as well. So check it out. Link below. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.